Very recently, I did some online shopping and I just bought a ton of leave-in conditioners because I wanted some new things to review for you all. And now that some time's passed and I've had a chance to try them out for myself and like gather my thoughts, I thought this was the perfect time to share my favorite and what I consider the best leave-in conditioners for fine curly hair. Some of these leave-ins are the spray-in style and the others are more of a lotion or cream style. And the reason why I get both of those is because on the days that I wash my hair, I like to use the lotion slash cream style for my curls because it just gives my hair a little bit more moisture. But on the days I just wanna refresh, second, third, fourth day hair, I really like using a spray leave-in. So if you'd like to see my list of the best leave-in conditioners for fine curly hair, just keep watching. So let's start with the lotion leave-ins. These are the ones that are on the creamier side, the ones I like to use on the days I wash my hair. I only have about two that I'm using currently right now. The first one is the Kinky Curly Not Today. You can find this at Target. It's a leave-in detangler. It's made with organic mango fruit extract, organic slippery elm, organic marshmallow root, organic lemongrass. You can use it as a rinse out or you can use it as your leave-in. It's extremely slippery and it's really perfect for knots. The next one is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. You can find this at curls.biz. It repairs, restores, and conditions your curls. It contains certified organic blueberry extract, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, and mango butter. It's clinically proven to repair damaged hair, encourage hair growth, and prevent breakage. Between the two I've just shown you, I do like the Kinky Curly Knot Today a little bit better mainly because it's very slippery and I haven't had a haircut in a while and it just really helps with these tangles. But I do find the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner to be more repairing and more hydrating. Next we move on to the spray leave-ins. These are the ones that I like to use usually on my second and third day, although I do use them on day one on occasion if I'm pairing it up with a mousse or something lightweight. The first one is the Maui Moisture Lightweight Hydration and Hibiscus Water Quenching Detangler. You can find this at Ulta.com. I am doing this in the order of the most lightweight, so this would be the most lightweight out of all of the ones I've mentioned today. The key ingredients are hibiscus water, passion fruit, and watermelon. The first ingredient in all of Maui Moisture's products is aloe juice, and it's perfect for easily weighed down low porosity hair. This is a silicone free formula. My only thing with this is it's a very small bottle. I did go through it really quickly. Um, I think this will work better for shorter hair and also for extremely low density hair. Next we have the Shea Moisture Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Lush Length Light Leave-In. This is made with THC and CBD free cannabis sativa seed oil. It also contains ginseng root and horsetail root. It's a really lightweight formula that moisturizes and detangles. I would say the fragrance on this is a little bit more on the herbally side, although it doesn't last very long. So it just initially smells more herbally, but it does dissipate. Then we have the Myel Organics White Peony Leave-In Conditioner. You can find this at Target.com. This is going to be something that I continue to buy. I really, really enjoyed this leave-in conditioner. It's lightweight, but it adds and seals moisture and tames your frizz. It uses many certified organic ingredients. There's no parabens, sulfates, paraffins, mineral oil, synthetic colors, DEA, and it's cruelty free. And it's also gonna protect your hair from heat damage. I would describe the fragrance as a light floral scent. The next one is by Alakay Naturals. It's their lemongrass leave-in conditioner, also found at target.com. It uses lemongrass oil to help strengthen the hair follicles, promote healthy hair growth, reduce shedding, soothe dry hair and itchy scalp, and make the hair shiny and silky. It uses aloe vera juice to moisturize and condition, and also silk amino acids to penetrate, strengthen, nourish, and rebuild damaged hair cuticle. This one does have that lemongrass fragrance, but I would say it's more of a sweet lemongrass fragrance. It is a little bit on the stronger side, but if you're into this fragrance, you're going to love it. Then we have a newer product. This is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Leave-In Conditioner. You can find this at Ulta.com. It contains a rice curl complex and superfood oil blend. It helps to detangle and soften the hair. It has heat protection, and it has no sulfates, silicones, dyes, parabens, or phthalates. This one is very lightweight, but it also has a lot of slip. The only con with this is that it is not big enough for me. I wish they would make it a full eight ounce size. I think this is six ounces. Also by Not Your Mother's, this is the Not Your Mother's Naturals 
Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon Repair and Protect Leave-In Conditioner. This is going to help repair your damaged hair. It makes the hair really soft and manageable, and it also doesn't contain any sulfates, silicones, dyes, parabens, phthalates, gluten, and synthetic dyes. And I've saved the best for last. This is the Not Your Mother's Naturals Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Detangler. Um, this is by far, this line is by far my favorite from Not Your Mother's Naturals. I also really love the combing cream from this line. The Tahitian Gardenia Flower is going to help soften and smooth the hair. Mango Butter will help reduce frizz, restore hair's elasticity, and create shine. It's a super slippery formula, and it detangles like a dream, you guys. It smells so amazing, and it's free of the sulfates, silicones, dyes, parabens, phthalates, and gluten, and synthetic dyes. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. I'd love to hear from you all now. Let me know which one of these leave-in conditioners have you tried before or are you wanting to try? Or if you have recommendations for me, please leave them down below in the comments. I love learning from you all and trying out new things. So please share with the community down there. If you're new to my Fine Curly crew, I'd love to have you subscribe and join here. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you're properly notified. And that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.